Hi beautiful people, this is Frank Yap and today we're going to talk about all right, a skin moisturizer that I have been using in the past weeks. Of course, that's body lotion and that's none other than Aveeno. That's what I promised you guys last Sunday, right? When we talked about Tender Care Baby products. So to those of you who haven't seen that vlog, I have here the picture and I'm going to share the link down below. So please take the time to see that vlog, guys. It's a wonderful review. Many of you requested for that. Those are the brands, classic brands, that are very safe for your babies, for everybody, including you, if you have skin conditions. Before we go to our discussion, please support our channel by subscribing and hit the bell so that you will know whenever we have uploads every week. Please take note, we upload three times a week. That's Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. <music> down to this product. So this is a Vino Positively Nourishing Calming Body Lotion or Skin Moisturizer. Now the very fact that I love this product folks is mainly you have lavender and chamomile in this. Now if you are an essential oil user or maybe you have experience let's say anxiety before or you are just the type of person who loves relaxation treatments you are aware that both lavender and chamomile are perfect elements for those so especially for somebody like me right who did experience anxiety before i know the value of these two items and on those nights when you can't get decent sleep or let's say on those days when you are jittery this can really help you a lot. So let's get down to business. Now a safety is the primary concern always when we're looking for the perfect skincare products. I think that this is the first one that we need to talk about, all right? So we have to take a look at the back of the item, okay? And of course, we have here the list of ingredients. Ingredients will not lie, beautiful people. So I strongly encourage you to have that awareness of knowing what ingredients are in your skincare products whether it's bath soap or lotion or most especially or most importantly anything that you apply on your face okay but for this part okay we have to talk about the ingredients first okay there are several ingredients in here beautiful people and some of which i can say are not really the best out there but i am not saying that they're bad because guys the truth is when you talk about products, especially health products, there is no such thing as good or bad because the effects of products vary from person to person or patient to patient. What's good for you may not be good for me, all right? Or maybe it's the other way around. So not for the purpose of bad-mouthing or discouraging anybody from, you know, getting or buying products, especially that there are thousands of you who are watching our video I'm just trying to bring awareness to everybody that we have to be conscious of the things that we use because in this time and age there are already a lot of choices in the market okay so the first ingredient of course this can't be done without it it's water and then it also has glycerine now glycerin beautiful people is a common component or ingredient of moisturizers or lotion glycerin is a moisturizing agent and what it does is that it pulls water onto the layer of your skin of course to keep it hydrated next up is the steril demodium chloride now with this ingredient guys okay i'm going to display them in the screen okay so you can see them it's a complex scientific term but this one guys is also very similar to glycerin it's a moisturizing agent and what it does of course is to lock the moisture in the skin now, they say, there are researches that say that this can irritate those with sensitive skin. But I'm telling you, I have sensitive skin and so far, I have not really reacted to this ingredient and this brand. Because, you know, beautiful people, that's how ingredients work. If they are used in your product in just the right amount or even, you know, below the threshold, then they should not really do you harm. Because that's ultimately the purpose of science right 
chemistry, the proper combination or mixture of things. Next up is a preservative. So, yep, this has a preservative, of course, guys, right? The majority of the products need to have preservatives, and that is chlorophenicin. Okay, so it's also in the screen, okay? Chlorophenicin is a common preservative in many cosmetics. That's why it's known as the cosmetic biocide, which means that it prevents growth of microorganisms on your skin definitely and that's very important okay i am not really a big fan of preservatives but guys in the past months i have learned so much about them because before you know it there are many dermatological products that you get from your dermatologists from your doctors that have preservatives and that's really a part of it and many doctors claim that it's okay to have preservatives in products because of course that is for the purpose of lengthening the shelf life of a brand as long as it's in the right amount it should not harm you and so far i'm okay with this next one is what they call stayareth 20. stayareth 20 is an emulsifier it's a surfactant and the purpose of that is to usually mix water and oil because those two elements usually will not mix, right? So you need surfactant or emulsifier for that. This brand also has petroleum or what they call petrolatum, okay? It's just the same, guys. It's also an ingredient that helps the product to seal the moisture in the skin. So the purpose of this is, of course, to keep the water protective barrier. Well, the effect of it is that it produces a thin film on your skin to make it feel smoother and more hydrated it's not the best ingredient out there but it's also not the worst i mean there are many other products that also have it there are many day and night creams or moisturizers that also use the same ingredient another ingredient is dimethicone it's a common ingredient not only in skincare products but also in medicines okay because dimethicone is indeed good it's a moisturizing agent, but it's good for preventing dry, scaly, itchy skin. So there. So very common in moisturizers or lotions. And then the last one that I can see here is what you call Cetyl Hydroxyethyl Cellulose. Okay, did I pronounce it correctly? It's Cetyl Hydroxyethyl Cellulose. So this one, guys, is just a thickening and a stabilizing agent. So this is overall safe. Now, the other ingredients found in here, of course, are your chamomile and your lavender, which I really love. Now, folks, Avino has been around since 1945. And, of course, this is owned by Johnson & Johnson. Okay, so we all know the mother company. And most of their manufacturing, I believe, do take place in Korea and in Canada. And this brand, this product, I mean, was manufactured in Canada. So there. It's really from Canada. So, you know, this should be good. Now, this lavender and chamomile body lotion moisturizer is quite difficult to find. Okay? I am not sure if you can find this from Lazada or Shopee. But if you go to Watson's Mercury Drug Stores or department stores here in the metro, it's rarely that you will be able to find this. I managed to get this from Landers and there were only a few tubes available when I bought it. So there. Now, again guys, this is just very perfect for calming or relaxing. That's really what I like about this one. Now, of course guys, for any product that's meant to relax or calm you of course the scent is very important that's why this is with fragrance of course it's scented you have the lavender and of course the chamomile now just to show you the texture is like this it's a little thick okay but it easily spreads on the skin so it gives you that very good glide and of course guys the scent will already give you that calming effect, okay? that relaxation because it's really good, nice scent. Okay, I won't say that the scent is over. Maybe on a scale of 1 to 5, the scent is just like 2.5 to maximum of 3, meaning it's, it's just the right amount and it's really soothing guys and it's really very good. 
especially if let's say you have dry skin this can really be very good it really smells nice super I usually use this bedtime okay I also tried using this guys before going out of the house all right it's okay but this isn't my first option if I will go out of the house and it's really hot okay I'd rather use a thinner lotion because guys the texture of the product is a little thick okay like the texture that I showed you so let's say Cetaphil body lotion or body moisturizer would be perfect or physio gel will also do now this tube is 198 grams okay and I bought this for 480 or 470 pesos if I remember it right okay, you can google it up but this is calming lavender and chamomile body lotion again it's 198 grams so you can check this out this is also very good just really perfect guys nighttime so you can apply this on your arms legs and then what i suggest that you do if let's say you want to be relaxed and you want to get very good sleep is you apply this on on your feet okay including the soles and then apply also a little coconut oil plus lavender so there and that's just a perfect match to this brand guys and i tell you that you will really be relaxed so far uh, that's why this has been a big help for me to be able to stabilize my sleep in the past weeks okay. so right now i'm checking really nice scent guys okay that's that's the advantage of this one so there you go our vlog is just as quick as that beautiful people i just really wanted to introduce to you this very brand okay so guys avino is so far a safe brand for me i have used some of their products like the other brands of moisturizer body moisturizer and also their anti-itch cream i've also tried that and it's also one of my favorites but the thing is you just really have to be able to find the best brand that works for you i mean works perfectly for you so always prioritize the safety and then of course the price point so on our next vlog we're also going to talk about another skin moisturizer or lotion so please watch out for that that will be on saturday and our vlog is just as quick as that thank you very much beautiful people for always supporting the channel please share our contents with family and friends and if you enjoyed watching of course give us a like and comments and suggestions are always welcome here you are the lifeline of our channel so i think that's it for me we december 23 now wednesday and we are just one day away from christmas day so i wish you all a merry christmas i hope that you and your family are safe and we should be happy and keep celebrating because despite the so many setbacks around globally we are still alive we are safe we have recovered okay we are in the process of healing you know i think we are in the process of recovering and those are still things that we should be thankful for thank you so much for always supporting us you guys stay safe you guys stay of course moisturized you stay happy you stay merry enjoy the holidays and keep living your life until the next time